here I am again back up on the roof and I am just trial fitting or checking the location of where the fans are going to go. So the fans are going to be really carefully positioned so that they land inside of the bars but also this is the fan at the front and I've got a seam here and I don't want to make the cutout around the seam. Now the cutout won't but the holes for screwing it down will but I'm not too worried about that, that should be okay because it's only, only small holes. Uh, the other one will go there. I've only got the one while I'm test fitting so I'll just move that and show you where that's going. And this is the rear fan. And this one's a bit easier to fit, there's a little bit more wiggle room for its position. So in an effort to reduce the amount of dirt and rubbish that gets into the van during this job, I'm going to be taping some plastic up on the roof to catch all the um, filings and stuff that come through when I drill the holes and jigsaw out the square. For this job I'm going to be using a jigsaw to cut the square out, but to start it I'm going to use my drill to pop the four corners. Now moving on to the jigsawing, make sure you've got a decent metal cutting blade. I tried with a multi material blade on the windows and I had a, right, a real trouble, it didn't, it didn't work very well. So decent metal cutting blade and then be confident with it, don't be timid. Someone else gave this um, advice and I totally agree with it, if you're timid it, it'll, it's likely to book you up and make the blade fall out, whereas if you just go for it, it will cut really nicely. I don't know whether you can see it, I'm just stopping a tiny, tiny bit short because I'm on my own, it'll stop the panel falling all the way through. And there we go. So here you can see cleaned up the edge, I've been back round with a file, tied it up, got the vacuum out and my magnet to try and get all the shards. Test fit in the mounting frame, that works really well. I now need to go and make a wooden frame that will go on the inside of this so that this frame, the screws have something to go through into. Um, I've got a ridge on either side that I'll need to make up but I'll just use the mastic double thickness around there to make up the height difference on that. So I've got some um, Hammerite direct to metal silver paint which I'm going to use to go around the edge and to recover a repair that hadn't quite worked previously. Doesn't really matter what colour you use because all of this is going to get covered by the 
edge trim and sealant. So I'm going to make um, the frames now to go on the inside. I'll make both at the same time. I'm just going to use my chop saw and some pocket holes and some sort of nominal 2x3 material. For anyone who's not come across pocket hole joinery before, it's a really quick way of making nice square joints. The reason it's so good is rather than screwing into end grain, which is another way of doing it, which is really weak, screws can pull out, it screws it, um, it puts the head on the end grain rather than the thread on the end grain, uh, which is the strongest way of screw uh, of screwing an end grain joint so i've got the frame the timber frame and then the mounting frame and i'm just sort of trying to clamp it in place so i can pre-drill all the mountain holes. Also worth noting that I'm definitely going to have to have a decent layer of mastic where the ribs are, but that's fine because I've got plenty. So now I've got some W4 mastic sealing strip that's going to go all the way around and in the in the low lower areas I'm going to put a double layer to build it up try and make sure it's all as even as possible Now I've got the frame on, we'll lower this in place, it needs to make sure you don't trap the wire. And the fan goes on the outside of the ring. down then put the screw the four fixing screws in there there and the same on the other side then the final stage once we've done those four screws up 
take this off. Excellent. Now I'm just going to go and do the one at the back as well. Unfortunately, yesterday my phone battery died, so I didn't manage to film all of it. Uh, hopefully you can see here, I haven't done the neatest job, but it should be sealed up. I've added some uh, Seekerflex 522 caravan sealant around the edge of both frames and then a dot on top of all of the screws. So that sh has um, totally sealed all of that up. Here's the rear fan from the inside. Um, once I get the um, cladding or whatever I'm going to use for the roof on, that'll all come nice and flush with this frame. And then same with the one on the front. So overall really happy with the outcome of these fans. The process wasn't too bad, it's certainly less stressful than putting the windows in. Um, we just need to get them all hooked up, but it's going to be a little while before I get the wiring in. Um, it's much further down the line before we put the batteries and everything in. Here are the two vents in their open position. I have just um, leak tested the roof because I need to wash it off to get rid of all of the um, shavings and stuff. There are a couple of little spots of rust that were forming from the filings that had come off from the drilling and jigsawing, so I've scrubbed the roof down, washed it off, and because of that, I was able to leak test it. And the good news is there's no leaks. What I have found is if you have them in the open position and spray like mad with a hose pipe, it is possible for a few drops to get through, but that's not realistic um, in terms of real use. Your rain's not gonna be kind of hosing in and up. So yeah, really impressed with them.